What is the biggest number in GD? Let's start off with the most stars gained. You might think it's around 50,000, but it's much higher. This is Smithy, a player with over 200,000 stars. This is such a big star count that I need to be base after base 40,000 times. I'm sure that's a pretty fun task. Anyhow, after a few hours of thinking, I got an idea. Who has the most attempts on one level? For most players, it's around 1,000. However, for this player, it's quite a bit more. This player absolutely smashed most people's records. After over half a million attempts, a player named Lashante beat the rupture. This was also a jump from a hard demon to a top 20 extreme, making this far more impressive. 614,000 is a pretty big number. However, let's take this one step further. This is Crone, a level that's absurdly unoptimized. The soul has over a million objects and doesn't even look that good in my opinion. However, what if I told you Crone is even the level with the most objects? Yeah, that's right, it's just CC local levels. Opening the level results in your game crashing or just completely freezing. This is due to the level taking up so much memory that it goes over the possible amount. This level has 2.2 million objects and I'm not even sure how it was uploaded on the servers. The level is also pretty cursed, with it being on version negative 128. I thought this level was the one with the most objects, however that's somehow not true. After talking with an experienced GD coder, I found out that the level with the most objects is actually a level called Object 3 million. At 2.2 million I could still open the level somewhat, but with 3 million the game just immediately closes. I can't even open the editor with a 4GB patch, which goes to show how big this level is. The thing is though, a level named Chronoclip 4 had actually held the record before, at 3 million objects, which is absurd. However, the creator updated the level to a pathetic 5 objects, wiping it off the leaderboard entirely. The ID for object 3 million is actually over a year old, despite being fairly unknown. Speaking of IDs, an ID is a number assigned to a level. Despite GD not having an update for over 5 years, there are over 30,000 levels being uploaded every day, resulting in the ID being over 80 million. We're soon gonna hit 100 million, which is an absolutely huge number. But even that is not even close to a biggest number. A way bigger number is this level. This is 3 seconds hell, a former top 1 challenge. So why is it the level with the biggest number so far? Well, here's the catch to the level. This is 3 seconds hell times 2 quadrillion. Let me explain. This somehow stores data between attempts by exploiting a glitch, meaning you have to beat the level 2 quadrillion times before a wall then disappears. While you don't have to beat it 2 quadrillion times in a row, the amount of time needed to beat it makes the level completely unreasonable. To beat the level, you take 26 million years, which is still less than the amount of days we've been waiting for 2.2. However, that's not even the longest level ever made in GD. Timeless is probably one of the most famous examples. Most people think it's around 69 years, but that's not true. There's a thing called a 32-bit integer limit, which doesn't allow the level to display a length longer than it, so it turns into a negative value. Due to this, the game can't display the full length, and it's just 2 million seconds. The length is so off, in fact, that the level is over 2.5 billion years. That's already longer than 3 seconds out times 2 quadrillion. But, let's keep going. This is emptiness. If you thought 2.5 billion years was absurd, wait until you see this. The level is 42 octillion years long, but it's physically impossible due to a thing called exposition, which I'll talk about more later. So, emptiness has to be the longest level ever made, right? Well, this is Nessus, which is top 1 on the hardest levels list. The reason for that is because you need to click 537 billion times a second to pass. That means you need to click faster than a nanosecond, which is 1 billionth of a second. But, how does that relate to the longest level ever made in GD? Well, the true reason this is the hardest level ever made is due to its length. The level is 10 to the power of 10,000 seconds long, making it way longer than emptiness. However, there is one level that could dethrone it, which is a level called To the End of Time. Supposedly, you have to click every plank time, the smallest number ever in the universe. On top of that, the level requires the crazy setup to complete, making you click faster than the speed of light. 
However, all that is simply not true. The quantum physicists had to debunk the possibility of the level, due to the universe simply not being able to handle the absurdity of this level. That's when you know you took it way too far. With that, Nessus remains the longest level ever made, and the biggest number so far. And yet, the numbers just keep getting even crazier from here on out. After brainstorming ideas for the biggest numbers in GD for hours on end, I came up with an idea. How far can you go in a level? The maximum level length you can make is 13 minutes on one time speed. Both external hacks, you can absolutely break the game. Here's how. You can theoretically go infinitely in the game, but there is one issue. Due to a thing called flow accuracies, at a certain point you completely stop moving. But at what point? This is a unit in the editor and is 1 30th of a block. Depending on your frames per second, you travel at different unit speeds. Meaning the more frames you have, the faster you'll run out of units, causing another ice age on your poor little cube. So that means they have to set your game to the lowest possible frames per second to travel the longest. What are the lowest possible frames per second? Well, it's this number, which is absurd. Normally, for a new frame on 60 frames per second, you'd have to wait only 16 milliseconds. But for this number, you have to wait 6 sextillion years just to get a single frame. Yeah, just a little laggier than a daily level. With this FPS count, how far can you go by the time your icon freezes? Well, 170 undecillion years, which is a number with 38 digits. Just getting 1% alone would take 1.7 undecillion years. We talked about the longest level in GD, the furthest you can travel, but this is the level with the most clicks per second. Rated levels like New Record are known for their ridiculous clicks per second. Both on rated levels, things get even crazier. I was initially going to go with tower for the most clicks per second in a level, because you need 33 trillion clicks to complete. 33 trillion didn't sound like enough though, so I kept looking everywhere. After asking a few people for help on discord, I found an answer to this question, which was this level. This is HLL moment, which requires 340 undecillion clicks per second, which is 10 to the 38th power. But then I found a list called the theoretically possible levels list. Levels on this list get crazy, and one of the levels is called Exponent Club. 340 on the ceiling is not even close to this number. To complete the level, you need to click 10 to the 6.4 billionth power per second. This is by far the biggest number, but there's one number that should not even be possible. It's so big that saying it's bigger than the number of atoms in the universe would be the understatement of the year. This is Pamka Never Clear. Normally, the most you can go on a counter trigger is 99,000, right? Well, the counter trigger actually goes to a 32-bit integer limit, just it can't display it. And by using a special setup to stack those counter triggers, you can go to absolutely huge numbers. To beat Pamka Never Clear, you need to click SCG to the 100th power times to make the ending wall disappear. I genuinely cannot explain how huge this number is. Multiplying every previous number mentioned in this video times the atoms in the universe would still be smaller than this number. This number is crazy, but what's even crazier are these impossible world records. See you there.